Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel. It's monthly movie tribute time, and we're here to do Piranha 1978, the original Piranha, and the one that makes sense. So, this movie made quite a bit of a profit. It made $16 million at the box office, and it was budgeted on way less than that. We're talking about $660,000. Ratings still hold till this day. We'll talk about that a little later on. Okay, so these piranha were not woken up from their slumber, you know, from some earthquake that happened in a random part of the USA. The 1978 version have these piranha. They are actually engineered in a laboratory. They got out into the public, into the river. And now it's up to these two people, a couple, to, well, I don't know if they're a couple, but it's up to a man and a woman to save the day, just like in the remake. Who could have predicted they would attack? And now, who would survive? Your Honor, they're here. spawn a sequel that was made by none other than James Cameron Piranha 2 The Spawning came out in 1982 we'll talk about that much later as well as another sequel that I didn't even know came out in 1995 so let's get into the movie that almost didn't happen Piranha 1978 we're pressing play now it's not on the map because you're not supposed to be there you know, I know it's nighttime and I know they're curious, but what would make them think it's okay to go trespassing on restricted land? Like, it's not a farm. It's clearly some type of. Great. <laughs> sure, let's watch out. All right, I'm going to let the movie so move. I wouldn't swim to David. I would swim away from David. Does she not see the blood? David? Oh, by the way, who would have thought the recipe of tits was not made in the remake of Piranha? It actually was in the original. I mean, were they trying to go for Piranha or were they trying to go for Crystal Lake? Oof. I can't help you. I haven't seen them. Are there any other shots? Well, I don't know. It looks like an axe murderer may be living out there somewhere. So we have this undercover detective, more like a private investigator, who is going to look for the two teenagers that decided to go trespassing and got ate up by the piranha. 
and then we got this man who clearly is an alcoholic um that she's depending on to navigate the terrain out there oh my god not the babies these are not teenagers these are kids holy crap Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Are they going to make it out of the water? Oh. 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 This brave little girl. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh no, Betsy. And she was afraid to swim. Oh my goodness. That is so heartbreaking. Oh, this piranha went deep with it. Okay. So the alcoholic guy, by the way, does have a little girl that's attending a, the summer camp here, okay? We'll see some connections with this one in the remake. It may have the greedy guy who runs the, the, the camp and he doesn't want to shut it down because he's got people investing in it and they've got all this money going on. Okay, alright. But this one is still better. This one is still good. Now for some strange reason, these piranha make noises like bees. I don't know why. It's strange and it's off putting. It, it, I can't take it serious when they attacking the people, but it still looked painful. You know what I mean? Now this one is not as gory. There's no gore or anything. I mean it's carnage. Now he literally looked like he just dove in. It didn't look like he fell in, but. Oh well, rest in peace to the colonel. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my. Okay, never mind. I take that back. It, it, it's a little bit graphic. Ugh. Well, did he make it? They ate him up, well, um, but at least he got out of there. Full scale investigation into this incident. Both to discover who is responsible to make absolutely certain that nothing like this could possibly happen again. As an expert in talk with species, what danger is there in the possibility what? of a problem? Oh no, they made it to the ocean in this one. Well, this one didn't end off on a... Yay! I like it, though. Let's talk about it. I will say that this one was rather enjoyable. It made sense to me, um, especially for its time. So, it did fit being in the 70s. The remake, to me, just was a you know a porn fest of gore and raunchiness and just watching a whole bunch of people get ate up i mean and yes i know horror had evolved by then you know movies had evolved by then special effects all that good it's jazz that this version the original has way more substance okay so uh this was released in august of 1978 and at the time it had highly mixed reviews uh, but over you know the the advancement of movie and horrors this did become uh, loved by many and became a cult classic now the reason that it did not almost make it is because Universal considered obtaining an, an injunction to prevent Piranha from being released because Jaws 2 had came out that same summer and you know they don't want to step on the toes of the success of jaws in 75 especially with spielberg 
However, guess what? Steven Spielberg stepped up and gave the movie some positive praise. And due to those uh, nice comments, the Universal decided to go ahead and drop the lawsuit. So here we are today. We're talking about Piranha, thanks to Steven Spielberg. The ratings for this still stand at a 7 out of 10. But for me, I'll give it a little bit more points because... You know, it was ballsy enough to give us kids getting attacked, but only one teenager, you know, dying in that process, which was very gripping to us because we did kind of become attached to her character. They that well, they attempted to want us to become attached to her due to her story about swimming and everything. So this was great. Like I, I will give it a seven and a half out of ten. I do agree with Steven and whatever he said about the movie because it would have been a shame not to witness uh Piranha. You know what I mean? So that's it, folks. We will not be watching any more Piranha movies. Do not worry. You will not see any more. But we do have some Piranha-related films that we will be watching coming up on the channel. Uh, because Piranha 2, The Spiny by James Cameron is not free. And I'm not going to pay for that. So with that being said, stay tuned for what will be the next movie coming up on the monthly movie tribute reaction for the month of April spring break. Please like the video on your way out of here and I appreciate you hanging out with me for this reaction and I will see you in the next one. Until then, peace.